someone asked me how they can add a whole bunch of photos to do a slideshow. I can't find the comment, but I did want to show you a cool little trick that will allow you to do this quicker. And if you have a better way, let me know in the comments. All right, let's start off on Canvas homepage. And typically what I would recommend is opening up a video document to do a slide show. However, today I'm going to recommend that you open up a Canva doc. And so up here at the top, there's doc. And basically what we're going to be doing is doc to decks, but we need to start off with the doc first. And what you're going to do is add all the photos to your document. If you've got a folder, put them all in the folder that you want to add. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So over here on the left hand side, yours might look a little different than mine because I'm on the desktop app. You should still have a folder here that says projects. When you do that, you've got folders and folders are available to all accounts. If you've never made a folder, it's super simple to do. You can go to projects, go to create a folder, you can name your folder, whatever you want. We can continue and then that folder will be there for photos for projects. Right click the three dots. You will see that you can rename it or move it or even share it or delete it. But when we go in, it will say this folder is empty. Then you can select the files that you want to add to your folder and then add to your document. I'm just going to use some Canva photos so that you can see how to do that. Let's go up to elements and I'm just going to click see all on the photos so that I can just use some of these photos. And all we need to do is click these photos. And this is what you would do with your um, folders as well. So let me go to a folder and show you this. So now we've got a whole bunch of images within this document. And up here at the very top, there's something called convert, convert to presentation. This is what you're going to do. Now there is no resize button. There's a convert button. So I can't convert this from this to a video document, but I can convert it from this to a presentation. We're going to click convert and it gives us an introduction. Welcome to docs to deck. This is new. We're still making improvements, so it might not work as expected. We're going to get started. When you look at it, it will give you different template styles. So this one just has the pictures, which is what I would want. But if we click on some other ones, it might have designs on it. Click around and see which type of design that you would like. This is template styles. If you are a Canva Pro user, you've got your brand. And so we can click see more and it will automatically convert it to your brand color as well. You can even choose different color palettes if you want and apply style that way. So that's pretty cool, but I'm just going to choose this plain old 15 slideshow presentation, create my presentation. It's moved very quickly from a document to a slideshow. And I want to show you why this is faster. If I were just doing this in video, let's open up a video. What I would have to do is go and drag each and I would have to add a page and drag there. I would have to continue to add pages and, and drag. If I just click something and didn't do it, then I would have to right click set as background. So I would have to continue on in that manner until I got the slideshow the way I want it. With this, it just automatically took it to the point that I wanted from a very quick document. So each photo's got its own page. If I click grid view, you will see all the pictures are on their separate 
page. Some people like to work in presentation mode. I'm not one of them. I actually prefer to work in video mode instead, even though you can add transitions to your presentation. There's not a play button down here. You have to click present and present to be able to see the presentation. And it just, it doesn't work for what I like to do. I'm going to choose to resize this. And this is a Canva Pro feature. If you don't have Canva Pro, don't worry. There is a way that you can do it for free. However, it is just so much faster to do it the pro way and let me show you we're going to click this resize button and then down here i've got one that's recent that's video but if i didn't then i would just type in video and it would allow me to choose one so i'm going to copy and resize and the reason why i'm doing that is because i want to go back and show you the free method as well so now i can click the play button and I will be able to check the transition between the two slides. Now, just in case you did not see how that worked, you are going to click in between the two slides, click add a transition, and then you can choose the transition you want. There are several transitions that you can choose. You can choose a dissolve. You can do a slide. There's a circle wipe. There's a color wipe, there's a line wipe, there's match and move, there's one called flow, which is also in beta. Actually, it's new. Match and move is in beta and flow is a pretty new one. Stack and chop. And the fun thing about each one of these is that you can change the duration, direction, and some of them even give you like an origin point to change from. So just look and try out different things. But let's say that we wanted to go with flow and we wanted them all to go to the left. Let's say we wanted them to go a little bit slower. Now, what I can do here is click this button that says apply between all pages. And when I do that, it automatically adjusts every single page to have that same transition between them. And so that would make it super fast for you to be able to do that. The other thing that you can do is change the time for all of them, the timing, how long the picture stays up. So I'm gonna click this first one, go up here, edit the timing, and then I'm gonna change it. Let's just change it to two and then click apply to all pages. Now, every single page has the same exact time and every single transition will be exactly the same. If you wanted to alter it just a little bit, what you could do is click maybe every other one and change the different directions, but you would have to manually apply those changes throughout. Once you do that, you might want to add music to it. You can upload your own audio if you want. So I've done that and I'm going to choose. Okay, here's one that I got from Creator Mix called Crossing the Line. Your audio will show up wherever your timeline is, but I'm going to move it to the back and then. So we've got Beat Sync. There's a sync now. I'm going to click display beat markers. The display beat markers is actually a free feature, but when you sync it, that's the pro feature. And if you want a free trial of Canva Pro, I've got that linked in the description for you below. And I'm going to listen to see if it's right for me. So I might want to adjust it, but you see the point, like it tries to adjust your slideshow to the beat of the music. This one, this one went faster than I would want. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. I'm going to take this and adjust that a little bit. But yeah, so you would just adjust to however you need it. And then you would download your MP4. So we're going to click share and download and we're going to download all of these images. Now for you eagle eye viewers out there, 
you might notice something on my screen. I'm not going to show you exactly what this feature does, but we're going to click download. So we have downloaded this. It may take my system a while to download it, but while it's doing that, I'm going to show you the free way to be able to change it from a presentation to a video document if you just cannot afford to have Canva Pro. Down here below the presentation, there's this button that's going to have numbers on it. How many pages is what the number is going to show. So for me, it shows 15 because I've got 15 pictures. So we're going to click that. And then what I'm going to do is select all of these. I'm going to use Control C on my keyboard and I've copied them. And then I'm going to open up a video document. We're going to paste that. So Control V. And I said that's what we're going to do. And then it's not doing it. Let's try it again. There we go. It went that time. If it didn't work the first time, just try it a second time. It might work. That's just a free way to be able to resize from a presentation to a video. Honestly, I find the resize button so much quicker. It saves me so much time, especially when there's an issue like that where it didn't actually copy and paste for me the first time. If you're wanting to know about slideshows, you probably would be interested in knowing about the edit timing feature. And essentially what this does is allows you to put text or graphics or other elements onto your design and have them animate and pop in and out. If this sounds like something that you need to learn how to do, then make sure you stay tuned and watch this video over here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.